When you go across a bridge, you expect it to be sound and sturdy. In the State of the Union message last week, President Obama announced a Fix It First program to repair the nearly 70,000 structurally deficient bridges all across the country. Well, that got us wondering, where is the most dangerous problem bridge in our viewing area? Well, we did some research and found it, spanning the Conestoga River in Polk County. In 1924, Calvin Coolidge was president, Earl Scruggs was born, and the Ford Model T ruled the roads. Also in 1924, this bridge over the Conestoga River was brand new and looked nothing like this back then. Is it loose? Yes. Yeah. Very loose. And back in the day, the Ford Model T weighed just 1,200 pounds. Today, a Ford F-150 weighs four times that. Any other bridge, you should see concrete on the top and it just means it's worn down to the aggregate. Chris Smith inspects bridges for TDOT and says this one is the weakest in southeast Tennessee. It's rated at poor right now. That's one step above critical, which requires bridges to be closed immediately. Inspectors rate bridges on a scale of sufficiency, and out of 100, this one scores just 28%. That said, Smith believes this bridge is still safe. For now, if there were any danger of it collapsing, we would have it shut down, you wouldn't be able to, to drive across it. As dilapidated as the bridge looks from up here, the real threat is down below, where the Conestoga River is chewing away at the earth where the bridge meets what's left of the bank. Yeah, what'll happen is it'll either start settling or in the worst case scenario, it could collapse. Why was the condition of that bridge allowed to deteriorate so much without any repair? Super no, I, repair I, can't, I can't answer that. I don't, I don't really have the right answer for that. You know, like I said, uh, you'd have to ask my predecessor. Roy Thomason is the Polk County Highway Administrator. When he took over this job in September, he inherited the most dangerous bridge in the area. Uh, as far as scaring us about the condition, it, it just alerted us that we needed to move forward with plans. Now, it's certainly understandable that Thomason is new on the job, so it's not his fault this mess has gone on for so long. The problem is, when I pressed him on the plans he's talking about, he could not tell me exactly when the bridge was going to be replaced. In northwest Georgia, the worst bridge is the one over Peavine Creek on Three Notch Road in Catoosa County. It got a 16% sufficiency rating. Right now, there is no consumer link to check out bridges in Georgia. But if you'd like to check out bridges in Tennessee, just click on this story at News Channel 9.